Oh boy. It is really icy out here. It rained yesterday and now it's frozen. So our whole yard is an entire ice skating rink. You're gonna go into the fence. What kind of shoes are you wearing? I've got to check on the coop because we are almost done with it. Oh no. That is a big mess in here. I've got walls that have fallen over, cracked. i got to fix this. Let me explain how we're going to do it. All right, so we're working on closing up these walls of the chicken coop in here. We've got the wiring in there, but we wanted to close up the walls and we found this material that's waterproof and non-toxic. And so we thought that'd be great for the, to keep the chickens from pooping everywhere. Well, this stuff isn't adhering well. We're trying to put it in right now in freezing temperatures and the adhesive, the work glue that we're putting on the walls here is hardening, drying faster than we can get these walls up. And so they fell off. We were getting ready to put some trim up here to be able to hold the walls on, but it's not gonna work. So we're gonna have to take all this off. Well, this stuff isn't cheap or certainly not easy to work with, but I think we can get it done and do it the right way this time. We're gonna put up some plywood to give these boards something to be able to stick to the entire surface. And then we'll get some trim up all the way around it to secure it in. You might be able to tell that we have lights now. That means that we have solar. So let me show you what we did with our solar system. Woo! Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. It is so cold outside today. You can see our coop out here. It is about 25, 30 degrees. Cannot feel my fingers, it is so windy. First thing I need to do is open up some solar. We got this big box from Renogy. They're partnering with us on some solar. So I'm gonna open this up and see what's all included in here. A lot of wires and devices in here. I'll get into that in a minute. Got the big show right here. How cool is that? Our first panel, number two, number three, and panel number four. We've got a 400 watt system. So we'll have four panels to put on the roof. Got some wires. I think these are to go from the panel down to everything inside the coop. Connector plugs. A bunch of bolts and brackets to hook this up to the roof. And then we've got our solar charger controller that our 400 watts of power is gonna run through. And then in our second package, we've got an inverter here that I, I purchased from Renogy. So now let me read this over, see what I need to do next, and then we'll start putting the panels on the roof. All right, I've got those panels on there. How does that look? Oh man, I am super pumped about that. Well, I'm gonna get up there, finish off screwing that in. Tomorrow we're gonna hook it up and see if we've got power. All right, so the kids are out here playing on the ice. Let's see what them and the animals are doing out here. Holy smokes, it slipped for a long way down there. So the emus were out last night. It was all rainy and icy, and I was wondering why they weren't going in. And then I tried to encourage them and move them towards the door. The blonde emus went in, but they both slid right around the door. So it was really slick right at the door. And then Bamboo would try and would slide and was just scared of the door. And so it just kept running away from the door. So I kept trying to get him to go in. He wouldn't go in. He'd get close and then he'd fall. So I eventually had to pick him up. I had to pick him up and carry him in and he didn't fight me at all. He let me pick him up. Usually he'd fight me, but it was the only way I could get him in last night. You guys wanna come outside? All right, let's see if we can do this. All right, so we were up here overlooking our newly completed mobile chicken coop. It only took us about 
six or seven weeks to finish. I'm up here with Lucy. This is our elusive Lackenvelder chicken. She is very tough to catch and I'm psyched I got her for today for our thumbnail. You can see the solar panels up there, but man, I've got to show off this mobile coop. Let me get down from here and show you what's going on inside. And some of you guys are thinking, why aren't you bundled up, Jake? It's freezing outside. There's snow out here. It's freezing. I need to bundle up, but I wanted to show off these fire shirts. We've got like four new designs in our Teespring store. They're wraparound t-shirts. Definitely go check it out. We've got a link down in the description. Well, you guys have been seeing us put together this chicken coop over the last six weeks in several different videos that we worked on. And then we built a custom trailer so that we could have it ride on tires and we can move it around. We have it on jack so we could actually level it out when it's setting. And then this front of it is able to hold our rainwater catchment. We'll go over that here in just a few minutes. And then on the inside, we've got mesh. And so that way the chickens can poop right through it. And you're thinking, well, it's gonna be cold out, isn't it? It's not horrible in there. But I will say, I did like your suggestion of putting hay bales when it is windy or cold out to keep the airflow from going underneath. And so we'll definitely do that when we get out here into the field. Okay, so we're gonna walk around and go over all of the outside features and then we'll move on to the inside. On the outside, we've got gutters on both sides and then we've got PVC pipe that's running down to a rainwater barrel right here and it's strapped on. It is pretty full from all the rain and snow we've been getting and it is probably one big giant block of ice. But here pretty soon, as soon as it starts to thaw out and get a little warmer, we'll set it up so it automatically fills a bowl with water. And we have an outlet right here. And our outlet does work and it actually could have a water heater out here if we needed that. Right over here, we've got our window, we've got our nest box. We're psyched about these latches that we found to put on the sides and we're able to let it out. It's held up with some paracord right here so it won't drop all the way down and we can come right in here and us or the boys, we can pick up the eggs each night. We've got two rows and 10 nest boxes. The most amount of nest boxes we've ever had in a coop. We're psyched about that. And then under the underhang on each side, we have some nighttime light. And so we actually have a sensor right up there and it's just like a day and nighttime sensor and it'll actually turn the lights on. The electricity runs right through it and it'll turn the lights on at night. Over here, we've got our chicken guard. We showed that in a video installing that and that's our automatic chicken door. And I've got it on timers right now where it'll open at 8 a.m. and then it'll close at 6 p.m. which is about when it gets dark. We've got this little walkway for the chickens to walk out on and then I've got a little latch right here and so it's able to hold this door up so if when we do move it, it's not dragging behind the coop. All right, perfect timing, Becky. I was just about to go inside the coop here. You ready to go inside and see it? Yes. Uh, all right, turn the lights on if you would. Right inside here, we've got some indoor lighting that we can turn on on a switch. We've got inside light. We've got the outside light right here. We've got an outlet. All right, Becky, so you've been helping me inside here with the walls. So what first jumps out at you? The roosting bars look amazing. We had done a different, couple different sections of roosting bars and then we decided to- To divide them up. Divide them up so they won't be pooping in the window seal. We had a suggestion from a viewer to actually put them on hinges so we could drop them down and they can go out of the way. It actually slides down so we can get all the way to the wall when we need to open and close this window if we need to do anything over on the wall. And then we also bought some longer ones. Initially we had, uh, I had 16, 12 and eight inch, the hinge shelves. So now I have 20 inch, 14 and eight. And then I put those 16, 12 and eight on the back wall. All right, so over here with the nesting boxes, We've got our 10 different nesting boxes. I put some more supports in here, Becky. Okay. So we have this bar right here. Some of you guys wondered if we were gonna put in a, a jump bar. And so this bar actually folds in so it'll block the nesting box. We do have some chickens that'll get broody where they wanna sit on eggs or they wanna sleep in nest boxes and we don't want that. So we can block that down here. Currently we don't have anything up here but we may put something if that becomes an issue. They could jump from here and they could go right in there or they could jump here and hop up into the second level. All right, so as far as our solar system, we have the four 100 watt solar panels that you saw us install on the outside. And so that solar power runs down into the controller. That runs up, up here into the battery. We've got 100 amp hour battery right there. It's a beast, it weighs about 65 pounds, I think. It power runs from the solar panels down to the controller up into the battery and then it runs right into here where we have our 12 volt thousand watt inverter from Renergy and I'm able to direct wire to that to the lights and to the outlet and then it actually has a kill switch that's right out here and so I can just hit this button right here and it kills the inverter 
and turns that off, turns off all the power. The solar panels themselves were actually really easy to install. The only tricky part I had was with the, the connections themselves. I actually initially ran them, or I ran all the negative wiring one way, ran all the positive wiring the other way, and then have them all loop around to go back to the controller, and I was getting an error message on there. We upgraded from the Wanderer controller, which is just a, uh, the basic controller that comes with the system, and it actually just lights up. It has green buttons, and it would show that it was getting solar power and that the battery was, it was fully charged, but I wasn't able to see any error messages, and I wanted to be able to see how much power was in the batteries. And then it shows the level of battery right over here. I would not have known that had I just had this panel right here. So once I had the, the readout screen, then I knew that I had wired it incorrectly and I was able to fix it. And I initially reached out to Renogy to work with us on this project. I was pretty excited about what they had to offer. And they actually gave me a link and a discount code if you wanna get some products from Renogy and set up something solar at your place. Uh, I've got a link down in the description and then use the code White House on the Hill and you'll actually get 10% off at renogy.com. All right, so cost. I can't remember what the previous number I was at so far. I think it was around 1800, I'll put it up here. The solar system that we used from Renogy, I think all said and done, it was about $1,000 for the kit plus the 1,000 watt inverter plus the 100 amp hour battery. The wall paneling and the plywood underneath was about $200. I didn't cover the cost of the automatic chicken door that we got from Chicken Guard before. I think that was about $300. I think it was about $100 worth of shelving. And then plywood for up there, maybe another $100. So I'd say about $1,700 here inside the coop. So the entire mobile chicken coop, I think was around $3,500 or so. We definitely spent more than we expected to with the chicken coop, but at the same time, we wanted it to last a long time and we wanted it to look good. Now we gotta put some chickens in. All right, so we've got it hooked up to our UTV over here and we're gonna start to crank it up. Whoa, that slid there. So we're gonna crank it up and we're actually gonna move this for the first time, we've never moved it. So I'm hoping this UTV can actually pull it here in this ice and snow we have on the ground. All right, Becky, where do you wanna move it to? I think right over there. I think we maneuver around. Like right here. I think this is a good spot. Okay, I'll have to pull it straight in because I gotta be facing the south for the solar panels. We'll move it further out into the field during the year, but right now, well, we gotta still haul water to them. We need it kind of close to us. Get the blocks in and get it level, and then we'll we can drop that gate down and put the chicken. Look how good that looks, guys! You go on, honey. Oh, okay. Oh. Hey, it's getting hard. That was good. All right, I'll pull the car out and then we'll go get some chickens in here. Go ahead, Eli. Put the first chicken in the new coop. Okay. No, just oh, set her up. All right. Let's put Johnny in the in the coop. There you go. Three chickens so far. Let's go get some more. All right, these are our last two. Hey Eli, do you think they're gonna like their new coop? Yes! Nice and roomy in here, isn't it? Oh, that one's pecking that one. Yeah. <laughs> In the corner where they are right now. I put the boards down on the floor. The ducks don't use the roosting bars. So it's a something for them to stand on. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna say goodnight to the chickens and ducks. See you guys in the morning. See how they do their first night in the coop. And the, the door will automatically open in the morning. They'll just be able to come out on their own. All right, well, we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.